In today's video, we're gonna recap a day in the life of detailing. This was past Saturday, and Saturdays are typically our shorter days because we close at 2 p.m. So I was actually sick as a dog that day, so it was Alex behind the camera, and then Lex and Edwin were out in the field. So I'll tell you about the vehicles we worked on, how much we charged, and just give you more information throughout the video. And remember that this Friday, the 17th, I'm opening up enrollment into my online marketing course, SEO for Detailers. So if you're interested in ranking your website on the first page of Google in your local area to generate a higher flow of qualified leads into your business, then check down below to get on the waiting list. Again, that'll be this Friday. Now let's get started with this video. So the first job is a mobile job. So if it's scheduled for, let's say 10 a.m., obviously we have to show up like at 9, 8.30 to get the band prepped and then head out on time to arrive to the first customer. So I'll let, I'll let Lex tell you what the first job is about. Approximately 9.51 a.m. We got a, just a quick maintenance detail on this nice Lamborghini here. Uh, gonna get this done pretty quick. That's all we got. Now, interestingly enough, we have maybe, let's say, eight to 10 monthly maintenance clients. And of those eight to 10, this is just one of two clients that we actually go out to be mobile. Everyone else actually brings their vehicle to our shop and they either drop it off or they just wait in the lobby. And a quick message from our sponsor, Jobber. Now, Jobber is a software we've been using in our detailing business for the past three plus years. We use it to schedule customers, book in customers, talk to customers, we keep track of employee hours, we send out automated text message and email reminders. We do everything in our business through Jobber. They have three different plans. When I first started using them back in however many years ago, I started with their basic plan. And as we grew and added more employees and needed more features, I'm now on their grow plan, which is their highest tier plan. And if you're interested in giving it a try, you can click the first link down below and you'll get 14 days to try it for free. And then you get 20% off your first six months by using that link down below. Again, there's a reason why we've been using it for three plus years. I enjoy the software. Anytime I reach out to them to get any help about the software, they're more than happy to help. So give it a try, click the first link down below, and thank you, Jabber, for sponsoring this video. All right, so we're all done here. The vehicle has been washed, the inside is all nice and clean. Um, now we're just wrapping up, putting everything back in the van. I'm gonna drive this, go park it far away from all the other cars and then uh, go inside his office and get the keys and take payment and we're done. Now, as you can tell, it wasn't a heavily dirty vehicle. It's a maintenance client, especially it being a Urus, it's gonna be relatively clean every single time. It was $120, I believe, and then they headed back to the shop to take care of that truck. Now, the truck was actually dropped off in the morning, so that's why they went to go knock out the mobile um, maintenance client first. That way, they, just, they could just get that out the way and just focus on the shop vehicle. So now, Lex, what do we got going on? All right, so we're back at the shop now. We have this Ram 1500 that came in for a uh, full interior cleaning, a premium wash, and a headlight restoration. Uh, the headlights aren't that bad, so we're just going to do a quick buff and polish on them. Uh, but the interior is getting fully deep cleaned, and it's pretty dirty on the outside. So let's get to it.
Now looking at my phone to look at the notes in Jobber, the full interior cleaning was quoted between 24 to 280. The pet hair removal was 25 to 100. And then the premium wash was 80 and the headlight restoration was 120. So in total, I believe the, the detail was 420 or 480, 480, somewhere around there. Now on a Saturday, since we closed at 2 p.m., um, we had to kind of finish the cars a bit faster. So uh, the customer got there like around 1.30-ish and they started to finish the wash. So Alex actually hopped in and started helping. And because they started moving a, a bit faster to get the vehicle out, that's kind of where we stopped. As you can tell, it wasn't like a crazy day, nothing glamorous, wasn't crazy number, wasn't crazy amount of vehicles, wasn't crazy amount of anything. It was just a very straightforward, easy day. And like, sometimes you like those days because a lot of other days it's like, you know, it's, you know, pedal to the metal where everything's going crazy and so many cars and customers, but you like the days where it's nice and slow and cool and you're done and out by like 2.30 p.m. That's, that, those days are, are also, you know, needed in the business. So I'll end the video right there. Uh, check the description box down below for the either the to try out jobber to get on the waiting list for the seo for detailers marketing course or anything else like the ultimate guide to start your detailing business you can check out my podcast the detailing business class podcast or if you want to check out my second youtube channel the proper care channel you can have all that in the description box down below let me know in the comment section of what we did or the pricing or if you want to know anything ask me anything let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you very much, and I'll talk to everyone on the next one. Bye-bye.